everybody welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Rachel and in this video I got some fun exciting craft with me projects so without further ado let's go ahead and get started so I had purchased this from Hobby Lobby of course it was on clearance it was only a dollar 75 and I really liked it but there was stuff that was on there so what I did was I painted it and then I distressed it in fact I really like I think I get distressed a little bit more than I liked but I'm gonna see if adding this decal will actually combat the whole the, the amount of stress that I distress that I did on this decal so um, I'm gonna put this in my kitchen and it just says if um, if I have to stir it it's homemade which is so true I absolutely hate cooking um, my husband does a heck of a lot better than I do so but of course you know we gotta take turns cooking and what are your staples of cooking like give me some good recipes like your absolutely favorite recipe you like to make time and time again um, let me know what it is and put the recipe in the comment section so that way I can give it a try and then maybe I can give it a review in the video so let me get that just being careful that I'm not missing any apostrophes or dot to my eye which I think I'm gonna lose this dot to the this eye here oh if you heard that that was my little puppy she's actually not a puppy she's almost she'll be 10 in May and um, if you watched my previous I don't know if it was a couple when well I'm making I'm making a lot of videos I can't remember when that one will get released but um, she had torn her CCL which is I guess equivalent to an ACL on humans and we have to see her we found out on, on a Friday so on Monday I got to give a call an orthopedic a call get her in and see what treatment plans are She's doing better, but she's also on pain meds, so I don't know. She's on strict crate rest, so we blocked off a very small area downstairs. Um, and then so she really just has enough to lay down in this little bed that we have and um, and to drink her food, or to drink her water and eat her food. So, and that is what she, they said that she needs to be confined as much as possible so those ligaments can heal. And... Yes, and we'll see what the next steps are. So, anyway, so she's down here with me. Normally, I have her in another room or uh, that I can close off so that way if she barks, we won't have to, you guys won't hear it. But unfortunately, well, not unfortunately, but she has to be in a room next to me um, so that way we don't move her around too much. So she's an older dog. Like I said, she'll be 10 in May. And, you know, when she turned, how old did she turn? When she turned three, I told her she's not allowed to get old. I love that little puppy. I'm going to go ahead and get the back. And then I'm going to go ahead and, I and I don't know, I was kind of talking when I was, putting this transfer tape, but I just pieced it together. And you can piece transfer tape together, so as long as they overlap. So this was just used from another project. And I think this is gonna be the last time I'm gonna be able to use this transfer tape just because of the surface that I'm putting this on. Okay. And then let's just make sure that this is the side that I wanna put it on because you want to make sure that it's, it's a stable, it's, you know, on both sides, so it is. It really doesn't matter. All right. And then we'll go ahead and place this on here. I think that is good to go. And you can actually, if you don't put a lot of pressure on when you're placing the transfer tape, um, it may not stick and you're you might have a, a chance to lift it up and I think that I'm 
too far over, so I'm going to go ahead and move it over just a little bit. See how easy that was? And then I need to move it up a little bit. And then I like to just double check by lifting it up a little bit. Make sure it's straight, centered, looks good. Okay. So I'm gonna commit and then I'm going to I feel like I probably should have painted this more of a solid white and then distressed it a little bit around the edges, just like how this is. But I was afraid I wouldn't be able to match this white, so that's why I kind of didn't want to paint it. So typically when it, we have like a white side like this, I like to offset it with a different color on the top here. Um, or, you know, you could most certainly paint around the whole thing. I just don't have time to do that, so. All right. And then let's get this off. I like to, when you're peeling back the transfer tape, I like to go at an angle. And it really helps with making sure that that vinyl sticks down on your surface. And I don't hate it. I actually kind of really like the distress now that it's all kind of put together. Now this, of course, may not be your cup of tea, but that doesn't mean that you can't just paint it and, and not have it so distressed like I have. But honestly, I think this turned out super adorable. So it's just going to sit in my kitchen somewhere. And it's it's so true. If I have to stir it, it's, it's homemade, <laughs> right? Even if it's from the box. All right, let's go ahead and get into the next project. So I'm going to make a shirt for my daughter and we're going to try that puff vinyl again, but in white. And I'm also going to be using glitter vinyl. So we're going to pair it together. Now, if you're going to do puff vinyl, then I would recommend, um, I would recommend putting the layer that is not puff vinyl down first and then <clears throat> excuse me um and then adding your puff vinyl because with puff vinyl you want to be careful not to overheat it and i feel like i mean that's true in all other vinyls however you know that one is it could you could mess it up real quickly with the puff vinyl so that is why i would recommend that in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my heat guide up and let me pull it up in my computer here because I need to know what the heat setting is for glitter iron on. So I'm just going to go to their website, select my heat transfer material and then the base material and of course what heat press I'm using. So it is going to be 330 for 30 seconds and then hit the timer and then hit 30 seconds. Okay, so I'm going to let that heat up while we're weeding out our materials. And then we'll get this one done. And then we'll get that. Okay, there we go. So this is just glitter. I'm not sure how it's going to pair well with the, um, the puff vinyl, but you know what? All right, it's my daughter's shirt. She'll love it no matter what. All right, then we'll get this one weeded out. Now with this puff vinyl again, I will link it in the description box below, but I do want to note that this is a little different because when you're doing um, iron on, you usually want to put shiny side down and this case, um, it is shiny side up, so it's a little confusing. It goes against everything that you've been, you know, practicing on. So just, um, you know, keep that in mind when you are working with this particular puff vinyl. Now it's just only this brand. I'm sure there might be other brands that is, you know, shiny side up, but. Um, 
I know the Paper Studio brand that I use, their shiny side. Did I? Make sure there's not a part that's missing. Okay. There isn't. Um, they are shiny side down. So just make sure that you read the instructions. Like I said, this one in particular is shiny side up. So again, it, it goes against, that was my heat press, kind of goes against what I am used to. Okay. And then let's get this last one done. All right. So, move this over here. Get my heat mats. My shirt. Okay, there we go. And then what I need to do is get my lint roller out. Now you, you of course want to pre-wash your material. Um, you know, just in case it shrinks in the dryer or in the wash. That's why you want to make sure that it shrinks all that it's going to shrink and that way it doesn't mess with your vinyl. However, I've never had that issue and I typically don't anyways, just because, I don't know why, I just don't. And I especially don't when, um, I want to gift it because I don't know if there's any allergies, so. Okay, so then, now that I preheated it, just to remove any of the moisture, um, I am just going to make sure that this is centered. Okay, so I'm just looking at my design in design space and I need it to go over, just off centered just a little bit only because the B is um, starting a little bit past the little swish of the L. So that is why I'm going to move it over a little bit. And. Okay, I think that is good to go. So let's go ahead and put my heat press and I'm going to hold it down medium pressure for 30 seconds and then it wants me to flip it to do the other side as well. In fact, I'm not going to do that only because I'm going to be applying more heat to um, for the puff final. So I'm just going to not, I'm going to opt to not do the back just because I don't want to overheat it. Okay, and then it wants us to slowly remove liner when it's cool to touch. And so I'm gonna just flip it over to do that. And then I'm also gonna change my temperature while I'm trying to get that to cool down. I'm gonna cool down my heat press to 290 because I found that is what worked um, when I was doing it before. And it says for 10 to 15, or I think it says 10 seconds for this um, vinyl in particular. So, or the, the puff vinyl, so. And I think this should be pretty well adhered anyways, so, which it is. Okay, I really like that. That's pretty. Now, of course, you'll see a little outline where the heat hit, and it will, that will go away as it cools down. All right, um, now that we have that, again, I turned down the temperature of my heat press, so that is cooling down. So while that is cooling down, I am going to get this figured out of where this is going to get placed so, there's that and then I'm also going to apply this um, the carrier sheet from the glitter because I don't want any of my um, vinyl to get touched with my heat press because then that will ruin it and then the rest is okay so I'm just going to cover just this portion up and all right so I'm just waiting for my heat press to cool okay. down so my heat press is cooling down but um, I'm a little bit, I'm not that far away from it. So I'm just doing it for 10 seconds and then a lot of pressure, the more pressure, the better. And then what it wants you to do is it wants you to take it off while it's hot. And there we go. That is so interesting because each this is puffing up way different 
than a different shirt that I did. Let me go ahead and bring in that shirt to compare. So if you guys remember from a different video, if not, be sure to take a look at this one. I did that with strip flock vinyl and which is the white and then this gold. I did it with this um, this company and I have it linked below. Um, and this is the gold one. And I have to say, I am not liking their product. I don't know. And yes, I did do it a little bit before it was cooled down enough, but it wasn't that far off. And I just don't see how this is super 3D. I mean, this just, I bought something else and it's, it's not even labeled as 3D Super Puff, like this one is. So I don't know if I would recommend them. Of course, you know, I could be doing something wrong, but I don't see how. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I loved how this one turned out despite that it's not puffy at all. But um, I think this one turned out really cute. It's just this one. I'm not super thrilled um, with how this turned out. Um, but I mean, I think it's so cute. It's just, I don't know. I just don't like how it's just not really puffy in my opinion. But anyways, well, there you go. I found this cute little gumball machine from Hobby Lobby and it was in their um, clearance section or no it was in the Christmas section and I actually have one from Target and it's a pink one it's really pretty but I thought that one's actually a candy jar if you will um, this one though I am going to do something fun with it for um, for Valentine's Day so this is you'll see this again um, in another video that I have and I was like, where did my vinyl go? I have a couple of um, craft videos coming out for Valentine's Day. So be sure that you stick around and watch that video. Okay, so what I did was, I'm going to go ahead and get this weeded out. And, um, oopsie. Oh, lost my dot to my eye. That's okay. So I just typed in Be Mine in Design Space and found something that I liked. Okay. In fact, when it comes to small pieces like this, I like to make it a mess over here. Um, I like to use a little bit larger transfer tape to help control it a little bit better. and then we'll get this off of that and then I am going to I apologize you're not gonna be able to see me do it but it's gonna be easier if I just do it this way instead of laying it down and then of course I'll show you guys what it looks like now with this this is gonna be a challenge I now of course I can do relief cuts probably should have done relief cuts relief cuts means you're just snipping um, this little cuts in the transfer tape just to help form on the surface a little bit better but I thought this would be simple enough I didn't want to have to oops, 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 oops. all right so let me oh a little booger oh no oh no okay oh geez no problem so I'm just going to kind of fold it the way it should be folded. I got that part, little M right there, a little messed up, but I think it's still fine. Okay, so here it is. Now again, I know it's hard to see, but stay tuned as I will add something in here that will make this pop up, pop out a little bit better. I know that you guys seen this done before, but I loved how the first one turned out and I thought it would be super cute to have one in my office. So, and I've also mentioned I bought quite a few of these, so I have plenty of them to craft with. Instead of putting family on this one, since it's going to go in my office, I thought it'd be super cute to put the word hello on there. And this is from Michaels and I just, and it came in this natural wood color and I went ahead and painted this white. And I'm going to leave this the natural color that they have or the stain that they have on this. 
And then um, what I'll do is, I'm going to go ahead and put this down here. And then I found this pretty um, <clears throat> paper pack. And I want to say this is from Michael's. I don't think this is from Hobby Lobby, but because usually Hobby Lobby would have their price tags on here. And <clears throat> I was flip flipping, so this is called Pebbles. And I was flipping through um, this paper pack and they have a lot of cute designs, very spring. Um, and I want something that is not so much spring and I really liked this one, but then I just thought that'd be too much geometry going on <clears throat> in this uh, design. So, and I like the florals, but again, I think that would be a little bit too busy. And I really liked the polka dots, but the one that I'm gravitating towards is this one. So we're going to go ahead and use this paper pack. And okay, so I already did my measurements. So I'm going to go ahead and get this cut out. All right, so let me it's in between the two 16 tick marks, tick marks, so I might have to end up cutting it. And I'll be honest, <clears throat> I started recording with a different piece of paper, and I'll, I totally went a different direction. Because this paper, for whatever reason, it was ripping when I was trimming it. And I, and I have two different paper trimmers. And they both were ripping it. So I said, well, it can't be the blade. It has to be the paper. Well, this one, you, you guys all saw how that cut out. And it cut out just fine. So this paper was terrible. Although I really wanted to use that one. So I'm a little bummed. <clears throat> I do have a duplicate of that. However, you know, I'm sure if that one's not good, then the rest are not. So I am going to go a different route, which is not a problem. That's just kind of the nature of the beast when it comes to crafting, right? <clears throat> and we'll bring this in. Now I may have to trim this down. Oh, no. Oh, it sits in there perfectly. <gasps> you guys, I'm thrilled. Okay. Oops. Didn't mean to hit the camera. Okay. So let's go ahead and glue this down. So I'm just using my art glitter glue. I like to use my art glitter glue um, for all things paper related. I've used my Beacon Fabri-Tac glue before, but I don't really like that, especially when you want to try to play with it and move it around. It leaves a little bit of a, I don't know, residue. So again, this is just the art glitter glue. Dries clear. It's perfect. It has a little bit. Now, the the fabric tack glue that you guys see me use before, this you have more wiggle room. This one you don't. This has more wiggle room than hot glue, but um, not as much as that vegan fabric tack glue. <clears throat> All right, so let's just get that in there. And yes, this you got different types of geometry going on, but I feel like this is not as prevalent as the other one that I really liked. So. I think it will work. And if I don't like it, <clears throat> not that I want to be wasteful or, or anything like that, but if you watched my last video, you will see that I have tons of these because I was actually going to make a lot of door signs for Christmas and it just unfortunately did not happen. And so now I got to use them up. Um, I could save them for next year, but I don't know. I really wasn't feeling it after some time of me trying to... Um, figure out what I want to do so and it can be, get pretty costly with adding your florals and all that and so I just ended up not wanting to do that so I got plenty of these to work with and which is fine um okay so what I'm going to do is I am going to let move this down just a little bit I'm not liking if you guys hear the ice cream truck is in the neighborhood and I bet it's going to come past my house and it sounds like it's getting louder so it probably is <clears throat> so I apologize about that but again my craft room is at the front of the house 
If you, can you guys hear it? It's coming by my house right about now. So we're just gonna pretend it's not happening um, at the moment. Not sure why they wanna go around the neighborhood at this moment. It is pretty cold outside. Yesterday would have been a better day. We were in the hmm, 70s, I wanna say. And then today we're now back down to the 50s, which is not too terrible. Now I'm just kind of looking to see where I'm going to need to add my Fabri-Tac glue to this here. So just kind of memorizing everything. So again, I know it's the same type of craft and you guys probably want to see different things. However, I'd like to also give you guys a different idea of what you can do with the pieces that you have. So... That way you have a little bit of a mixture of, or different choices, I guess you can say. So right now I'm just trying to figure out, to try to get this centered. Again, with this Fabri-Tac glue, you don't have a whole lot of wiggle room. Uh, more, like I said, more with, um, in comparison to hot glue, but not a whole lot. Okay, I kind of so, wish. All right, that is our last craft for this video. Let's go ahead and bring in everything to take a look to see what we completed. All right, a lot of fun crafts that we worked on today. And let's see, which one is my favorite? While I like this, but because it's kind of been there, I've done that and I really like it. I think this one is my favorite. This turned out super cute. And I was really worried about with the amount of distress that I did with it, but I think that overall it was, a, it really came out nice. And then of course, our little Be Mine um, gumball machine. And then of course we have the little boss lady cause she's a little boss lady, let me tell you so much sass <laughs> but anyways um so yeah i don't think i'm really happy with their product i was expecting it to be a little bit more puffier and again the different types of vinyl or different type of puff material or not so much the material but the different type of puffs like this is a white puff and then this was a metallic gold that we did in a different video i just <clears throat> I, I like consistency so and this course did not puff it, puff up at all, but it also could have been user error, right? I maybe not had enough pressure. Um, it could be because I put it on the the flock. Uh, although we did do some testing in that video, so be sure to take a look at that video before you purchase that. And then of course, you know, maybe not enough heat, maybe too much heat. So definitely use those test strips, see which one works best for you, like the time and temperature is concerned, and then you know, go from there. And then of course, our last one is this cute little hello sign. I think this is going to look adorable in my office and I'm excited to um, add it to my office. And then also, if you're interested to see what I did with the one that I wrote or had family on there, be sure to watch that video. And um, yeah, because I have, you can have um, two different options to see how this can be done. And of course, you don't have to buy this type of frame. It could be really any type of frame that you really like. And then um, add your little own little spin to it. So anyways, that is all I have for you. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like and let me know which one your favorite is. All right. Bye, guys.